Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I'm going to explain about intellectual property rights. What is intellectual property? Intellectual property is a property that arises from human intellect. It is a product of human creation. Intellectual property comprises two distinct forms, literary and artistic work, industrial property. World Intellectual Property Right Organization is also called as WIPO was established by WIPO convention in 1967. It is a specialized agency of United Nations. It promotes the protection of uh, IP throughout the world. Its headquarters are in Geneva, Switzerland. World Intellectual Property Day is on April 26th and it uh, focus on promoting visionary innovation as a key to secure future. Intellectual Property Law in India There are many big and small intellectual property law firm worldwide like in India, USA, UK, Chicago, etc. provide qualitative help to inventor and creator of product. In India, intellectual property rights are safely protected and controlled by well-established statutory and judiciary framework. Apart from that, there are many attorney and law firm of intellectual property in India in various states. Major types of intellectual property or IP. There are three types of intellectual property. One is functional and technical invention, pure artistic work. Third is a symbol, logo, world, sound, color, design, etc. In case of functional and technical invention, uh, there is a patent act of 1970 amended in 1999 or 2000, uh, 1999 and 2005. In case of pure article work, there will be a copyright. See, for functional and technical invention, it will be a patent act, whereas for pure artistic work, it's like a copyright act of 1957, amended in 1982, 1984, 1992, 94, and 1999. Sim uh, symbol, logo, world, and sound, color, design, etc. Under that, there will be a trademark. For uh, functional and technical invention, it is patent act. For pure artistic work, it is a copyright. Whereas for this one, it is a trademark act at 1999, amended in 94, 96 and uh, 2000. So these are the three major types of intellectual property. Industrial property. Industrial property describe physical matter that are product of idea and concept of commercial purpose. How are they protected? They are protected by patented object, trademark, industrial design, trade secret, layout design, geographical indication. Now what is a patent? A patent describe an invention for which the inventor claimed the exclusive right. It can be patentable if it is a new, useful, not obvious, pertain to patentable subject matter. Patents. It is covered under Act called Patent Act in uh, 1970, amended by Patent Act 2005. It extends to the whole of India. It shall come into force on such data as the central government may publish by notification in the official gazette. What is patentable subject matter? It could be invention like related to a process or product or both or it could be it could involve an inventive step be capable of industrial application or even it could be a machine. Life and duration of patent. The term of the patent is 20 years from the date of filling for all types of invention. Priority date, first to file. The date of patent is the date of filing the application of patent. The term of patent is counted from this data. Fee for filing patent. The government fee for filing a patent application in India is 750 rupees per individual and 3000 for legal 
entities. No fee for first and second year. Renewable fee on the yearly basis is required to be paid for third and twentieth for uh, keeping the patent in force. Time lapse is renewable fee is not paid within the prescribed period. Is patent granted in one country enforceable in other countries? No, there is uh, nothing like a global patent or a world patent. Patent rights are essentially territorial in nature. Granting a patent in one country of the union does not force other country to grant the patent from the same for the same invention. The refusal of patent in one country does not mean that it will be terminated in all other countries. Patent holders in India. The list of top 10 patent holders in India comprises only pharmaceutical and biotech companies. In India, 184 patents are held by Council of Scientific and Industrial Research followed by Ranbaxy. While the top 10 patent holder across the world are IT companies in India, no IT um, are in India. Now this is how the patent look like. Trademark. A symbol, logo, word, sound, color, design or other device that is used to identify a business or a product in commerce. And uh, there are different symbols are and the different symbols are TM that is intent to use application field for product. SM it intent to use application field for service. This R is uh, represent the registered trademark. Now, what is the registration procedure? That is application for registration, examination of the trademark, advertisement of trademark, filling of opposition, and later certificate will be issued. Now, what is the duration and fees of trademark? Trademark is valid for 10 years from the date of application, which may be renewed for further period of 10 years on payment of prescribed fees. The service mark right are uh, so reserved exclusively for owner for 17 years. It can also be renewed. The government fee is uh, rupees 2500 for each class of goods and service. Applicability of trademark. A trademark is a sign used on or in connection with the marketing of goods or service. Used on the goods means that it may appear not only on the goods themselves but on the container air or wrapper in which the goods are then they are sold. Specific font size, size, proportion and placement also has to be considered. Now this is the correct use and this one is the incorrect use of the, uh, of the specifying font or size, proportion and placement. Even we cannot change the spelling also. This is the correct use of spelling like Kelvin Kevin and this one is the incorrect use of spelling of Kelvin Kevin. These are the trademarks like name, like for example, Coca-Cola, logo, symbol, slogan like in case of McDonald's and even the shape of the bottle also represented in the trademark as well as the color. Copyrights. In uh, Indian Copyright Act 1957 governs the system of copyrights in India, amended in 1982-84-92. 94 and 99 meaning it is the right which grant protection to the unique expression of ideas original the term original in the copyright law means that the work originated with the, the author there is no requirement of for novelty or uniqueness as there is no patent law copyright law protect the expression of an idea not the idea itself what is covered by copyright literary films dramatic musical artistic and sound recording what is not covered by copyright ideas facts recipes work lacking originality example phone book names titles or short phrases registration procedure 
register a copyright by completing a simple application form along with the appropriate fee need not send a copy of your work it may appear with the same title but if each work has been created independently each will have its own copyright protection duration of copyrights authors uh, copyrights last for the author's lifetime plus 50 years from the end of the calendar year in which the author dies 50 years of film films and sound recording 25 years of uh, topographic arrangement of the published edition copyright protection always expire on 31st december of the last, last calendar year of the protection what is fair use give permission to use copyrighted material if certain criteria are met protects freedom of speech promote public benefit like education how much can i use photo and image up to 5 works from one author up to 10 to 15% work whichever is less from a collection database information up to 10% or 2500 field or cell entities whichever is less remedy for patent infringement a suit can lie in the district or high court it may issue an injunction injunction either to prevent the infringer from any further use and award damage to the patent owner or will pay the patent owner royalty for further use remedies for trademark infringement a suit can lie in district or high court punishment extend from 6 months to 3 year a permanent ban on engaging in commercial activities remedy for copyright infringement a suit can lie in the district court or in high court up to like 60 uh, section 63 of the copyright act in uh, 1957 punishable with the uh, imprisonment up to 3 years and fined as per the claim thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you